Good morning, students. Hope you all are fine. Today, I am going to teach you history of class six, chapter one, knowing the past, second part. Today, I am going to teach you archaeological sources of history. Say, students, most of our information about prehistoric man. the indus valley people and other civilizations is based upon the archaeological findings okay archaeology is the study of the remains of the past like monuments tools pottery coins weapons paintings edicts and other artifacts okay now do you know that today it is possible for the scientist to calculate the age of the organisms which are long dead by the method known as carbon 14 dating which measures the amount of carbon 14 in their remains all the living beings and now how it is possible okay so all the living beings taken some radioactive carbon from the from atmosphere during their lives okay when they die this element in their body began to decay at a fixed rate so by examine the amount of carbon 14 dating still remaining in human and an uh, animal bones archaeologists can calculate their ages okay now how how many types of or how many forms of the archaeological sources are there in a history there are usually four types of findings forms are found inscriptions monuments coins artifacts and objects what is inscription inscriptions in ancient time the rulers engrave important messages on tools rocks pillars stone stone walls and on stone tablets and on copper plates these writings are known as inscription and the study of these old inscriptions are known as epigraphy a study of these inscriptions throw light upon the language of the people names of their rulers the year they ruled the military achievement the religious and the social condition of of that time and other details also for example a king ashoka's inscription on the pillar on the on the rock adits describe his achievements his religious beliefs and his instructions for the common people now i'm going to show you the picture of the ashoka pillar which is situated at firoz shah kotla in delhi can you see this pillar and the inscriptions now next is a next important remains archaeological remains is coins coins are made up of at that time coins are made up of gold silver and copper and therefore are not easy to destroy they have the names and images of rulers stamped upon them and also give information such as, such as the date of the succession the death of the particular rulers thus they help in fixing the chronology of various dynasties and the next important point is coins also indicates the economic condition of their empire for example high gold or silver content in a coin indicates that an empire was economically sound 
similarly on the opposite indicates that an empire was not economically sound apart from this the presence of indian coins in the foreign lands indicates the foreign ex trades okay now next is monuments we all know about what is monuments ancient buildings what is monuments ancient buildings like temples palaces and forts are known as monuments they were built for the different reasons and give us information about the life and time of the people for example the carvings on the panels of qutub minar tell us about the region of the early delhi sultans and the craft panels on the wall and the railings of the sachi stupas tell stories for the life of the buddha okay here i'm going to show you one very famous and very important monument that is taj mahal okay the taj mahal was built by the mughal emperor shah jahan in agra okay now our next is and next and the last one is the artifacts and the objects now what is artifacts and objects works of the arts like painting on the wall stone carvings help historians to form a picture of the cultural and religious life in ancient societies that is the crypts of the cave paintings of the ajanta and elora other man made objects like pots toys jewelry weapons swords statues and seals are also the progress of human civilization at a particular time in history so student this was the small explanation of the archaeological sources of history hope you understood please note down the important points in a rough copy thank you so much